Hey what's up guys and welcome to this video. Resolution, it's something we pretty much hear every day in the news. There's a new screen of some sort, a new TV, new monitor that's running at a new higher res like 4K, or there's a new game that's been announced that it's not going to quite run at 1080p on the next generation consoles. But what does this actually mean and how is it going to affect you and should you actually care because does it actually matter? Well, resolution probably will be the thing that will be most heavily marketed to you if you buy a new TV, new screen of some sort, or if you buy a new next generation console. This thing can do a higher resolution than what you already have. So what actually is resolution? Well, the resolution basically just tells you how detailed your image is. The higher the resolution, the higher quality the image will be because there will be more pixels. The resolution is simply just like a mathematical equation. It tells you how many horizontal lines there are and how many vertical lines there are on screen. And these lines are, of course, lines of pixels. So the more lines of pixels there are, the higher quality the image will be. So I'm sure you've probably heard terms like 1080p, 4K, Quad HD, all these things are basically just different ways of saying what the resolution is. 1080p is the most common one these days, and that is 1920 by 1080. So there are 1920 lines of pixels along the bottom and 1080 lines along the top. And those lines, of course, make up the full image. So that's quite a lot of pixels, and I'll have somewhere here how many pixels that is, because I would never actually remember it. It is a lot of pixels. And as the higher the resolution goes, it means that there's going to be more detail in each image. However, of course, that is significant because the more detail in an image, the more data there is, and the more data there is, the more power we're going to need to actually put all that data on screen. So that brings us on to resolution gate, and that is, of course, talking about the next generation consoles. And basically, all this is is that the next generation consoles can't run every single game at 1080p, so the full HD resolution. And this has got quite a lot of people upset for various reasons. Of course, the main one being that their TV can run this resolution, and they've just gone out and bought this shiny new games console when it can't actually fill all the pixels on screen. Some games will run at 1080p at 60 frames a second, no problem at all. Some games will have to run at 1080p at only 30 frames a second. And then other games, the resolution will be dropped to something like 900p or the infamous 792p. So the lower numbers means that there are less pixels on screen and then the image is less, well, it's of a lesser quality, it's not as good. Note that the resolution I'm talking about now is what's known as the internal rendering resolution. This isn't the resolution that your TV will say it's receiving, it's the actual resolution that the game is running all the assets at. This image is then upscaled to 1080p via the games console, or in some cases the TV, but it'd probably be the games console, and then that is why your TV will say it's receiving a 1080p 60 frames a second signal, because it is. Your games console is actually rendering it at this internal resolution that's a bit lower and then upscaling it. This means that it is a higher quality image than just a raw signal, However, it's nowhere near as good as the full 1080p full resolution. So the issue here is that we're not getting the full 1080p 60fps quality that a lot of people had hoped for. But of course the question then is does it matter? And people have all sorts of opinions on this. So does it matter? Well, it depends. If you're only running at a HD ready 720p display or of course a standard definition display, then no, because you won't be able to receive the resolution anyway because you won't actually be able to display it on your screen. Your screen cannot display that amount of pixels, so it won't matter at all. If you are running on a 1080p display, like to be honest, the majority of people are, then yes, you are getting a reduced quality. However, it does decide, does decide, it does matter on what sort of screen size you have. If you have a really big screen, uh, a 1080p resolution, and you sit really close to it, then you're going to notice that the image quality isn't as good as some of the other things are, and you'll start to kind of see a bit of anomalies. Maybe you'll be able to see the pixels, maybe it'll look a bit blurry. Either way, it won't be as good. But if you're running a really small screen and you're sitting far away from it, then to be honest, you probably won't be able to see the detail in the first place anyway, and so you're not actually missing out on that much. It is of course fair to say that if you have a really good game, it's not going to actually degrade your, your sort of gameplay experience as much if it's running at a lower resolution because of course it is more about the game. However, it is a shame that in this obviously day and age, when we're looking at getting these new 4K TVs, these consoles can't actually run 1080p on every single title. Unfortunately, that is just a fact. We can debate whether it matters or not, 
but the fact is it isn't quite as good as it should be. If you are wondering how you can get 1080p or higher on every single game at 60 frames a second, it wouldn't be a PC-centric video without reminding you that this is all available on a gaming PC. And you don't have to spend a fortune to do that. You can check out some of the PC-centric rigged ideas that I've got in the description below, as well as many more to come. But thank you very much for watching this video. Let me know what you thought. If it was informative and you liked it, hit the like button. If you thought it wasn't very informative, it told you a load of crap, basically. Hit the dislike button, but leave a comment to let me know why you disliked it so I can improve for future videos. As I said, thank you very much for watching this video. Subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this, which will help you to understand more terms and all the things that people were talking about, as well as other videos on PCs, gaming, and technology. There's quite a lot of good stuff coming up, but of course the only way you'll be able to see it is if you subscribe. Thank you very much for watching this video once again, and I will see you in the next one.